Hey guys, EBP Man here, and in this video, I'm gonna do the absolutely unthinkable. I'm gonna remove a perfect install, my Whitestone Dome Glass installation from my Note 20 Ultra, because you guys have been asking, what is it like? So let's get right to it. Now, several weeks ago, we did an installation video on how to install the Whitestone Dome Glass the right way. We're talking about how do you get the perfect install. So in this video, I'm gonna show you what's the experience like on removing it and how it does not damage your phone, because I've been getting a lot of you asking, Will it damage your phone? And as you can see here, this is my Whitestone Dome Glass install. Notice how clean things are. So the glue was really finely installed all the way around. This is the same phone that I use in the demo video. And there are no bubbles. It's just a perfect install. But for the sake of this video and for the sake of all of you who've been asking what it's like, we're going to remove it. And removing it is pretty simple. Uh, what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to literally use my hand and my nails here on the side. And I'm going to start peeling from the side and lifting the glue. And I just wanted you to see how it starts lifting. Now, one of the things I would recommend you do is that you don't really lift all on one side. What you start to do is I start peeling it from the sides and I start lifting the top all the way around, almost like if you're going to be uh, peeling, let's say, like an orange. Uh, the reason why I like touching it from the sides, as you see me doing it right here, is because uh, I want to make sure that the glass is not shattered. So you'll notice how I'm lifting up and it's actually coming off of the phone right now. So I'm going to continue to do that on all the sides until it's completely lifted. And you can see how it's coming off really easy. So I'm gonna to continue to do that right here. And I'm gonna to continue to do it over here. And literally all I'm doing is using my nail on the corner and then just lifting it up. I'm not doing it to the point where I'm bending the glass because I don't want it to shatter. And even if it were to shatter, it's just gonna get a shatter mark in the middle. Um, nothing is really gonna get damaged. So I'm gonna to continue to do this. And you notice it's almost halfway. And now that I have this side done, so you can see how much I've lifted, I'm gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. And eventually what will happen is the glue uh, will have lifted. And there I got a small crack, that's okay. Uh, there's no shards or anything like that coming out. And I'm just gonna do the same thing here. And I'm gonna to continue to do this all the way around until the screen protector is lifted. And you can see how right here, this is where it shattered a little bit and how the glue is just lifting on the other sides. So I'm gonna to continue to do this. And uh, for those of you who are questioning, I do have a case on my phone still. Uh, I was just lazy, I didn't remove it. Uh, you could remove it too. So you notice now it's lifted, fully lifted. And there it lifted a little bit more, it cracked. And all I'm doing now is just lifting in the middle. And this is how easy it is to remove a white stone dome glass screen protector. So there it is, everything is fine. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. I'm gonna log in. And then I'm just gonna navigate around the screen for a second. So it's logged in, and you can see, and if we were to just uh, turn it off for a second so you can see how dirty it is, you'll notice no dirt whatsoever. There's a little residual stuff right here on the side that I can wipe off, but that's how easy it is to remove a Whitestone Dome Glass screen Protector, and there's no damage. Everything still works.